hunger and curiosity led Randall to a little hideaway in San Leandro. Here he uncovered a rare culinary find, authentic Liberian cuisine. He now tells all his friends and anyone who will listen about this tiny West African restaurant featuring savory stews served with the helping of history at Kendija Restaurant. Kendija comes from a town in Liberia and it was the epic culture center of the whole country where artists went to learn how to draw, how to sing, how to carve. My name is Douglas Yuso. Uh, everybody calls me Dougie. And I'm the owner of Kennedy Restaurant, the only Liberian restaurant, or should I say the best Liberian restaurant in California. I may be a little biased, but I think Liberia has the best West African cuisine, period. And the reason for that is because Liberia was founded by free blacks. The first eight Liberian presidents were all actually born in the States, and they went back to Africa. So half of the food that we eat in Liberia is, I would say, southern infused. Collard greens, eggplant, fried okra, oxtails, cabbage, and the other half of our menu are more traditional dishes. With the restaurant, I try to give you the Liberian food, give you the Liberian culture. We play African music in the back, we play sports in the front, and we try to let you feel like you're actually visiting a friend's house, but it's actually a restaurant. All right, Randall, Liberian cuisine. Now, this is an interesting combination, really, of kind of African, West African cuisine with a little bit of the American South. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I really enjoyed about it. Mm -hmm. Like you get a little bit of history, a little bit of food. First, when you walk in, like the murals on the yeah. wall, mm -hmm. and then there's a map, and then like, I don't know, just like so much, so much to learn. Mm -hmm. Like, and you'll sit down at the table and they have these like little cards that actually mm -hmm. like tell you a little bit yeah. about yeah, the history of like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So when I go there, every time I have to get the oxtail stew, I think that's like by far their like standout mm -hmm. dish. It comes with rice and beans on the side and then the stew itself has like chunks of oxtail and carrot, a really hearty stew and you just like scoop it onto your plate with the rice and beans and the, it just soaks up all that flavor. And they also have another dish that's the acheque with fish mm -hmm. yeah. and acheque is kind of like a grated cassava and it's a little bit like couscous and it comes with a sauce on top that's made with like peppers and onions. And then, of course, the star is the fish. It's like a whole fried fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I had the cheque too. So the fried fish, we can talk about. We can talk about that all day. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It's like super crispy on the outside and yeah. delicious. And then you just get in there, and it's like the flaky, like meaty fish. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. When um when I put my fork in it, it goes past the skin, right? And then the meat of the fish almost like plopped mm. up. So I was like, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> like, there's no way this is going to be yeah. bad. And it's so, it's so soft on the inside and juicy and tender. Um, and it's just, it's just delicious. And it's actually, it's always fun to eat a whole fish, mm -hmm. like to have yeah. it in front of you. It's like an <laughs> right. adventure anyways. Right. So we didn't get appetizers. We just went head in and just got a <laughs> bunch of entrees and, and shared it. So uh -huh. we got the jollof rice, which was my particular favorite. So I've never had like, it's basically Liberian fried rice. Mm -hmm. I haven't had mm -hmm. that before. Yeah. Um, so I loved it. It was so delicious. So I want to thank you for finding this place because it was just a great experience for me because my family's from the South. So right. I grew up eating Southern food. So it was such a trip to walk into a restaurant and have this familiar but different food yeah. right. that, that I've been, you know, so eating my whole life, but in a completely, in a different way. Right, you because know? those Southern touches yeah. are really woven right. into the cuisine. And Absolutely. yeah, and the owner, I got a chance to talk to the owner and he mm -hmm. was saying that of the eight presidents from Liberia, nine of them were from the north one of them was from the south and mm -hmm. he takes particular pride in that particular president because right. of the cuisine that's in the south and you know southern people we have an attitude about food with these <laughs> yeah. anyways so you know what well, did you be think honest, of, yeah the star of the show is the owner of the, the yeah. Yeah. yeah he yes. could not have been kinder he was so incredibly nice i went with a group of kids like i'm always with and the kids, of course, were rowdy, but he could not have been kinder. Yeah. And then speaking of the jollof rice, he recommended that for the children, but then that was my favorite, and I ate the whole thing, so they didn't get very much of it at all. Not a I'm sure. Sure. But my daughter, she loved the chicken wings. We got the chicken wings as an appetizer, mm -hmm. and she usually, you know, chicken wings have the spicy buffalo sauce on them. Mm -hmm. They didn't have, they just had kind of like a dry rub on them, mm -hmm. and she apparently got that from me, would not share them with anybody else, <laughs> and ate all of the chicken wings herself. Good for her. Yeah. We like her. The other thing 
thing we got that was slightly a disappointment um, was the foo-foo stew. I think that's more traditional. I think more it just wasn't my speed. It, the mm -hmm. broth was way too um, fishy tasting for me. Mm -hmm. It um, seemed like it was mostly just fish stock. It had this big dumpling in the middle, which was pretty good. But I wanted to order, because I know um, there's actually a lot of really good African beers, mm -hmm. but they didn't have any African beers on the menu. I was kind of disappointed with that. For the other beverages, they did have a ginger beer mm -hmm. and a hibiscus that mm -hmm. are African in nature. Okay. Like, I, I, was, I didn't, never knew there was African mm -hmm. hibiscus and African ginger beer. We, I just have not, haven't had that before. And what about the bean stew? Beans to borgi, I believe it's pronounced. And it comes with rice on the side also. And it's a pretty thick and hearty stew. It comes with the smoked herring and the turkey and chicken as well. Mm -hmm. It's like all that uh, meat kind of like just cooks down. The stew becomes super flavorful. Is that yeah. a special, like on one of the yeah, days? Yeah, it's okay. one of the rotating mm -hmm. specials. Yeah, you gotta make sure you go yeah. on the right day for <laughs> the things you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The portions are humongous, like uh -huh. super hearty food too. The portions so like, are huge. Did you feel like you got value in this? Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. The portions are gigantic. We yeah. took a bunch home, yeah. great value. All right, mm -hmm. your spot, Randall, wrap it up for us. I'd say Kendage is a true neighborhood gym where you can experience unique food and culture. All right, and Jocelyn? Oh, well, come on. When was the last time you've been to a Liberian restaurant? You need to go experience it. And Angela? If you're curious about what Liberian food is like with one of the friendliest owners you will ever meet, go to Kendaja. All right, if you would like to try Kendaja restaurant, it's on Pelton Center Way at Washington in San Leandro. The telephone number is 510-756-6049. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $20.